නිදහස් සංවාද වැඩ වෙමු පක්ෂ දේශපාලනයට එපිටි ට්‍රාන්ස්ෆෙන්ස් පාටි පොලිටික්ස් Every year the month of October is quite important for Sri Lanka because the most burning sessions of United Nations Human Rights Council begins in October which is Sri Lanka we have seen from 2009 now year 2015 there was a resolution passed against Sri Lanka government to conduct an impartial inquiry and appoint a hybrid court to investigate war crimes in Sri Lanka or any other alternative now 2017 we have not done anything but there was a very dangerous statement made by the former army commander of Sri Lanka and the five star general that he has lot of evidence the war crimes had been done by former army commander uh, general jagat jayasurya now this is where once again the ltt diaspora got oxygen from sri lanka now earlier they have conducted an inquiry in 2015 international inquiry but they never visited sri lanka this was also once again a resolution passed when former uh, chief uh, uh, council was there dr navanidan pille so 13 members were investigating that and that report also confirmed sri lanka forces had committed uh, war crimes now the latest trend is whereby the former army commander who was in the field now physically he is saying and also vocally he is saying that he has lot of evidence but the issue is not that in 2015 we have seen in sri lanka very strong sri lankan lawyers as well as other diplomatic showed we have actually involved in a humanitarian intervention as well as humanitarian operation 285000 innocent tamil people were taken as a hostage by ltt and how can say international diaspora how can they say there was war crimes no 285000 they crossed from uncleared areas to cleared areas and immediately after that the resettlement was given now in denmark there is a transnational government they may be thinking sri lanka professionals are very weak no there is a very strong team behind former army commander general jagat jayasurya because he was the one who saved sri lanka at that time so how can another army commander uh, can say he has lot of evidence on that now the issue is not it LTT diaspora as well as uh, Denmark based uh, transnational LTT government with the Kumaran and Nadumaran they will see yeah we have won and we have enough evidence now we have to prove it in the council no we have a very very strong professionals very very strong association that we can prove Sri Lanka we never committed any war crimes I'll give example for that now see the last stages of the war what happened Geneva convention 4 which really say if terrorist keeping innocent tamil people as a human shield with reasonable effort they can be saved so we have done it so now who is going to say this this is we are uh, revenge this is backed by ltt diaspora for the information what they have to say even they go as a, a personal uh, conflict this is not a real personal conflict now in sri lanka what we are going to do in the human right council now we are saying we are progressing very slowly no they are waiting for the hybrid court this is not the first attempt they they tried uh, former general jagat das as well as chagi galagi they all try to arrest now the biggest issue is coming up sri lanka has already signed the un uh, forced uh, disappearance uh, this convention now based on that they are trying to come up with a bill in sri lanka that is the end so even if anyone saying this is in parliament they say this law apply retrospectively that's totally wrong even if you sign that according to sepal ekanayaka case that we have seen sri lanka has signed the montreal convention after that only the law was passed similar thing is going to happen here if this is passed what will happen all these people maybe generals and others they may be handed over to another country even in brazil if they have set up the courts because uh, extradition laws are there but it will never happen i will say to ltd diaspora as well as transnational government this is where sri lankans brave we are there to save all these war heroes and also national war heroes we will never never allow you to visit here or we will never even the government may be weak 
government may be say we will uh, going to handle it but we will never allow that so therefore they have to think the powerful professionals are there they all rally around this and also how to prove it we have seen in 2014 and 2015 in the geneva human rights council they try to prove certain video clips Callum Macris, Channel 4, Killing Fields, as well as another four videos were shown. But what happened? In Sri Lankan professionals, they strongly proved these are dub videos. Therefore, Geneva never accepted it. The same thing is happening here. Now, even the leaders may go and say, this way we are going reconciliation and other type of programs. No, underneath the people who supported them to bring to power they were expecting two things after the regime change we need a OMP office we need the OMP bill and we also need to punish those who did actually it is not a war crime war is basically crime we have seen it but you can uh, specifically say war crimes are these these things so it is only thing we are international transnational government LDD government and uh, national uh, locally and nationally internationally there are a lot of organizations which they want to bring them into one pack no you have to realize in Sri Lanka now former all army commanders they have made statement that they have not committed war crimes so this is where just putting oxygen or putting the uh, fuel into a uh, fire by people those who are in that is they are burning the country so what we can say even there is no way you can take all these leaders even the uh, former secretary general or any other person who was in the sri lanka government which involved in defense they look after defense well uh, that's why most of the british lawyers are say what the british lawyers south african lawyers say sri lanka is the only country white out terrorism at any cost we have to save them so internationally transnational LTT government must think one thing not only Sri Lanka internationally lot of professionals are now gathering ground you can see the protest by Sri Lanka supporting community Sri Lanka supporting professionals they are building uh, satyagras in that country LTT ruthless the LTT ruthless terrorists they destroyed Sri Lanka this is the only chance we are having so the final chance this that the is that the compensation we have to pay the time we have to protect them people are trying to take them into the courts and punish them it is like betraying sri lanka nidaha sangwad wedadum paksha deshapalana ita epiti transcends party politics